For the first time, we're getting a look at what exactly happened inside Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. On May 24th, a gunman entered the school and shot and killed 19 students and two teachers. And we do want to warn you, the footage is tough to watch, but it delivers a transparency that people have been wanting for weeks. The first thing we want to highlight for you is how fast the shooter is able to get into the school, down the hall, and into the classroom. Here's Tony Floletsky. because it's so difficult to imagine what was happening inside that classroom. The next two and a half minutes are filled with burst after burst of gunfire. The only edits we've made to this video is blurring the face of that young boy who almost ran into the shooter in the hallway. That boy is okay. We also, at the request of some family victims, some victims' families, took out some of the audio of screams coming from that classroom. The next video we want to show is from when officers from the city of Uvalde and the Uvalde CISD police force first arrived on the scene. At this point, the gunman has already been inside the classroom for about three minutes. He is still shooting. You can hear the gunfire as officers arrive. There are about a half dozen officers, at least one with a rifle, who initially pursue the gunman and try to get into the classroom. But the shooter fires at them from inside and they retreat back to the end of the hallway. Once those officers retreat back to the end of the hallway, there's really not much else to see for the next hour or more. But that's the point and it's why we've time lapsed these next clips. The officers remain gathered at the end of the hall, amassing more and more equipment, more and more firepower, and more and more manpower. They have shields brought in. They have gas canisters brought in. We saw more than a dozen rifles pictured before we lost count. At one point, after another round of gunfire from the gunman, the officers repositioned farther down the hallway, closer to the classroom door. But even after that, it's another 30 minutes before the officers make their final entry into that classroom to take out the shooter. This law enforcement response remains under investigation. It is the subject of a state house and Senate committee hearing. The FBI, the Texas Rangers, and the Uvalde DA are all investigating. And now we're seeing what's being described as an abject failure of law enforcement. Reporting here in Austin, I'm Tony Plahetsky.